Hey everybody, it's a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett, welcome. Today I'd like to explore uh, four very crucial points that are really uh, enhancing to your chi circulation as well as your blood circulation. And there's something that really expands your, the, um, you know, the different postures that you go into in, in, in Taiji Tran and, and other martial arts, Qigong and everything. And bringing your awareness to these, these points uh, enhances your chi flow, enhances your circulation throughout the whole system. And um, it's one of those things that where you practice it until you don't have to think about it and then you let it go and, and it just becomes part of who you are. So the uh, let me just get right to it. The uh, uh, first point, the first two points, they're both uh, heart one, which is the Ji uh, Chuan uh, point. It's, uh, and that's right here in your armpit. And if you kind of poke in there and find, find a tender spot, that's probably, you're probably right on the money there. So the idea is that you're, you're making contact with that heart one point. And this is heart one, it's the, what's it called? The, the utmost source, I think is its name. So that gives you an in indication of what, uh, you know, the high regard that it's, that it's uh, considered. So it's uh, considered to be the gateway to the heart meridian and the transition point or the, um, the integration point between the energies of heaven and earth in your body and allows that to circulate. And then it, it also governs the, the whole system. So it is the, it's the, uh, it's in charge of, of the circulation throughout the whole system. And which is kind of in keeping with the, with the function of the heart, your heart stops and it's, uh, you got, you got problems. So the more energy, that is circulated freely there, the more health and well-being that you can experience. But also it affects your your martial the your your chi that you can deliver in terms of of your martial expressions. The other uh, two points are the stomach 30. This is the um, chi chong points and uh, I'll stand up for this one. The uh, it's right here in your and your inguinal crease, right? This this area where your your uh, thigh meets your torso, right there. So right about in the middle there, there is the this stomach thirty point. And you kind of poke in there, and you find a tender spot there. And that's also uh, you know you're you're getting close there. But if you're in the in the neighborhood, you will be uh, you'll be just fine. So and this is the uh, chi chung. It's uh, Oh, what's that called? Oh, the penetrating chi or the the surging chi. So you get an idea from that name that it's about more, and this kind of fits in with our idea of, of the qua, because that's that's that inguinal crease is sort of the the demarcation point between your your thigh and your torso, and our bodies are designed to create more. Um, flow, more circulation whenever you move, whenever you walk or run or whatever, that your legs pumping causes more circulation throughout the whole system. So it's also this, um, this penetrating chi. It's also has to do with, with blood flow. So it enhances your circulation of your blood. But in, in actuality, it actually affects a lot of other systems too. Your synovial fluid and your lymphatic system, things like that. There's, we are designed so that the that, uh, movement of your legs is designed to pump things in your, in your body. So we get this surging chi or penetrating chi, and it's also on the penetrating vessel, the uh, Chong Mai, which is, connects up your Hui Yin, which is that point right there at, uh, at, the, at the bottom of your torso, that the first point on the conception vessel, which uh, uh, it's the most yin point in your in your body, it connects that up with your upper dantian, your you know the 
third eye, your, uh, uh, we talked about it in the last class about the upper Dantian, or actually two classes ago, in the upper Dantian and how that's, that's um, where the spirit resides in the, in the spirit valley. And so this, it's very important. It, it also correlates, uh, some say to the, the, uh, uh, Sashamna Nada in, in, in the yogic tradition, which is where the Kundalini spirit rises. You know, I like to keep the, the system separately, but separate, but the, uh, sometimes there's a correlation there that kind of sticks out. It's like, okay, yeah, the chi rising up the Chiang Mai, the penetrating vessel, is designed so it, it rises to your, to your brain and it energizes your, your upper Dantian. So we're getting a lot of correlations here. There's a lot of cool stuff that happens with these these different points here. So we got the utmost source, you know, which is, uh, you know, it really indicates that that strong emphasis that you know, we want to really open that. And so the exercise we're going to be doing tonight will be for opening these things. And one key point I like to you need to keep in mind is the idea that you're being receptive here. That is, you're kind of opening to the gifts of the universe and kind of opening these points and allowing the chi of uh, the big chi to enter and allow your body mind to do what it needs to do with those things. It, it knows better than you how to circulate those things. And, uh, but we want to give it, ample opportunity to to drink from the well so the uh so we're receptive we're kind of like okay i'm you know master yong says i take you know i take you know i'm i'm receiving this you're you're being a a very yin terminal for these these energies okay so uh once you stand up we're gonna uh play around with this And let's just start by um, step out and find our three pillars. That's a, a nice place to start for these things. Maybe they connect up. And so by that we mean you want to feel your central equilibrium. We start off by centering over the balls of our feet. Knees are unlocked. Not bent too much, but unlocked. And feel yourself sinking down into the earth. And reach with the crown of your head. And lengthen your neck so that you're feeling your, your head is reaching upward very gently. You're not forcing anything. You tuck in your chin and feel the space at the base of your skull, your jade pillow gate, feel that opening up. So we're enhancing our Jing Shen, our spirit of vitality by doing this. So even as you're reaching up with the crown, you're sinking down with your feet. So we're getting, lengthening our spine and just allowing the body to get very soon, very relaxed and feel it releasing into the, inter inter the intrinsic structure of your body mind. And you wanna open your qua, so you can actually press in on those, those two uh, chi chung points as you do that, just kinda, of, you wanna feel that your hips releasing, letting go, letting go of any extraneous muscular tension there. And let that go. And then um, reach out with your elbows a little bit so your arms are slightly rounded. So that you're opening up your shoulder joints and point and reach with your index fingers. Let your arms get very soon. Uh, 
everything is kind of going down except you're reaching up with the crown point. It's like you're hanging and reaching at the same time. Place the tip of your tongue in the roof of your mouth. And breathe through your nose. Keep your mouth closed. Good. So we're going to adopt that very receptive posture, very receptive attitude with this. Feel your three pillars. Let's come up. Open up to about chest high. And arch your back. Open your chest, your shoulders. Open your throat. Receive. And hands come down. Think. Gather. Open and arch your back, open your throat, chest, shoulders, receive. Turn. Turn the other way. Back to center. Hands come down. Reach with your wrists, reach with your fingers, open your shoulders, your back. your left, think at your right, think at your left, and turn, and reach up with your right hand, press in, on the heart one points, turn, open, arch your back, and then Left hand comes up, reach up with your left hand, Re press with your right, arch your back, turn. Come down. Your stomach 30 points. Massage your inguinal crease. Press in and bow forward. Receive. And come up. Hands come down. And the ball to your feet, reach up. To your wrists, your fingers, open your shoulders, your back. Sink into your left, 
Look at your right. Turn to the left. Right hand comes down. Step back with your right foot. Take it to your right foot and turn. Left hand comes across, right hand comes up. White crane spreads wings. Sink into your left foot. Right hand comes down. Turn your right foot up. Sink into your right. Left hand comes across. Right hand comes back. Reach. Turn. Sink into your right foot. Step forward. Sink. And reach. Brush knee to a step. Step up with your right foot, hands come down. Feel. Feel the chi flow, feel the energy flow, the, uh, the blood flow. Sink. Hands come up. Reach, open your shoulders, your back, hands come down. Take your right, your left, your right, and uh, left hand comes down. Step back with your left foot, turn. White crane. Sink into your right foot. Press down with your left hand. Pivot on your left heel. Turn. Sink into your left. Turn back to the right. Step forward with your right foot and reach. Hands come down, step forward with your left foot. Your arm. Pivot on your left heel, turn to your left. Let your arm give very soon. Arch your back. Look up. Breathe. Receive. Pivot on your left heel, turn to your right. Pivot on your right heel. Arch your back. Pivot on your right heel. Back to center. Fold your feet. Palms up, gather, turn your palms down and sink, bend your knees, sink down, breathe, feel going yin, very yin, and then come up, reach down.
With your right foot, step in with your left. Into the balls of your feet. Inhale. Gather. Take it to your heels and uh, press down. Let go, throw away the chi. Resolve into the emptiness. How was that? Richard. Um, I, uh, it seems as though 25% of my chi has been hiding in my arched back. <laughs> <laughs> that was really dramatic. <laughs> Yeah, that uh, that opens up that penetrating vessel. Really, <laughs> a lot of chi gets <laughs> moves. It penetrates. <laughs> yeah, thank you. That was that was really wild. <laughs> Good, <laughs> great, thank you. Anybody else? Valerie. Well, I think we <clears throat> we need to explore this more and <laughs> more than just going back and watching this uh, YouTube again. Um, I, I think it personally, I would like to explore it more. OK. I don't know about anybody else, <laughs> but we were passing gas like fools <laughs> over here, <laughs> both of us. It was, you know, belching and passing gas. That was kind of, Richard was too, okay. That was uh, <laughs> like, whoa, okay. I, I, I thought it was the cauliflower we had for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you like to explore about it? I, I'm, I'm Just, curious. I don't know, more, more. Just more, um, Just do it again. <laughs> yes. Yes, and it seems like more than just doing, like I said, just watching and doing the, the maybe that's what I need to do is do it like three or four times with the YouTube thing. Um, I noticed um, parts of my, um, uh, what's this muscle up here? Why can't I think of it? Deltoid maybe? The top of the shoulder? Yeah, it's, not, it's not, yeah, right in here. On both arms, those got really activated. Um, it was just different since in my hands, now they've warmed up. My hands got freezing. I felt all kinds of energy flowing inside. But my hands, if I had touched him, he would have gone, oh, get away from me. Because they were just, the outsides were ice cold, which I think you've called that wolf energy before, something like that. Um, but that was an interesting sensation. Um, so yeah, I, I definitely think it's worth exploring more. Cool, good, okay, cool. Lynn. Um, I found that like when we did brush knee, um, I really was so much differently aware of the qua, right? Um, in terms of how I was lifting more kind of up with my <clears throat> torso, like the, the energy in the qua was sort of thrusting up my torso a little bit, not in any, you know, what in, in a nice, in a sort of a filling out way, I mm -hmm. think. Um, and when Valerie said she'd like to explore a little more, I 
was interested in sort of thinking about how this, um, if you if you get a new feeling toward the qua or a new realization of the qua, how that would play out um, in different moves or how that, you know. Exactly. We, we can explore this in different forms and different shapes so that you can see it because it's, it's really juicy. It's, yeah. it's seriously juicy. So it, uh, to find, to explore that in different postures, uh, would be valuable. Yeah. I would like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Sure. No gas. <laughs> for, for myself, I'm not sure what term to use, but boy, when I got into a posture, I was rock solid there. Mm. You know, it was, um, I usually don't get that so quickly. It was alarming how bam I was there. Wow. Cool. Huh? Cool. Scott. A uh, couple things. Uh, yeah, I would like to go into it more. Like I, I didn't quite understand where all the, how the connections and some of the connections to the the points were. Like I would like more detail about what's going on between the points and the movements. Oh, good, good. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's things you can do with that, like connecting up the left heart with the, with the right stomach point, you know, having a, going across and things like that. There's, there's uh, in, different, in different postures, you know, in Tai Chi or other things, you can get the, you know, you can feel the exchange going across your body as well as, as, as down unilaterally. So, Sounds like a good uh, next week. I had some. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, uh, Nick, you had something. Yeah, um, I just, it's an, uh, it's a, you're done. I don't know, it's an adjunct, if you will. Um, th for, there are lots of them out there, but there is an application that uh, I find really helpful when it comes to identifying locations for points. Um, and it's called acupuncture assistant. Okay. Obviously enough, it's and it has it's really simple to use. It's not terribly complex. It doesn't go deep into a whole bunch of of you know clinical stuff, but it gives you nice clear maps and and good ways to locate uh, points if you're looking for them. And so if anybody interested, it's worth acupuncture tracking. assistant. You say? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Good. Great. Cool. Jonathan. Sort of um, following up with Richard and this gesture, I find in your uh, warm up exercises, which I actually I do recommend we do one time, just claiming lost territory. This is the real climax to me of claiming lost territory. I think plus I spent so much of my time doing the opposite. And I think many of us do. We're kind of hunched. So and it's not just the physical gesture. This one is really the, really, the emotion of opening up mm. this much. Mm. And then, oh, am I comfortable emotionally here? Well, then let's go a little more in that comfort, you know, explore that. Uh, it, it's a very profound, it's so simple, but it's so profound when you really go with it and let, let go with it. And I often find myself not. I like, like, well, I could have done more there, couldn't I have? You know, you had to tell me one time that, no, no, I want more. You know, it's something to be coached <laughs> on, which yeah. is weird. You know, I don't need to be coached on this because <laughs> I just do it unconsciously. But the opposite, I knew, you know, it's it's like this is unconscious. This is conscious. I can't make this unconscious. So right. to put as much consciousness into this and to really explore what I'm feeling as I'm doing this, that is a very profound claiming of lost territory. Great. Good point. Good point. Yeah. It's, uh, Jonathan's point is really, um, you know, really insightful there. You know, so many of us, particularly as we get older, there's a tendency to close down and to get more constricted and, uh, and everything kind of collapses in and to consciously, ah, you know, really expand out and just, you know, claim it, you know, and to have it, it's not just a, uh, you know, not just a muscular thing. It's being informed. You're being filled up. Like you're saying, Valerie, you're, you're being filled up with the energy. It's just like, 
you know, whoa, it, it's, you know, it's, it's blowing you up and say, so, okay, this is cool. So you're kind of getting back to what else is possible in your, in your form. Yeah. Lynn. Yeah. I think that also with that opening up, it's a very vulnerable position, right? You know, you show your throat, right? right. I mean, that's right. like, wow. I, I mean, yeah, books. my vampire, you know, that's like, <laughs> you know, but, um, but, you know, I mean, it does. And also it's that challenge. Uh, I find it an interesting sort of challenge to actually relax and go further back without, you know, doing any crunching of vertebrae or neck or anything like that, right? You know, so there's another sort of vulnerability there. So just, you know, I find it worth working on, but I also, I'll, I have kind of a mixed relationship <laughs> with that movie. Uh -huh. And uh, that, that you make a really good point there, that emotional component there is like, you know, why do we get like this is because we're, you know, it's we're it's protective. We're we're seeking to protect ourselves and to to really expand out is like to to it's to embrace life. It's to say yes, come on, bring it in, you know. And uh, they, you know, that vulnerability there is, you know, it's I am receptive. Come on, come on, universe. I I'm asking. Please give me give me some more gifts and. Uh, uh, more chi, please, and it uh, it's it's uncanny how how available it becomes in these postures. Cool. Uh, anybody else? Debbie. I thought it was really helpful when you did the 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 turning the the twist from one side to the other for opening the uh, the stomach thirty point. Um, mm -hmm. It just felt like the energy, the the frequency of the chi flowing just went up probably, you know, three or four times mm. the amount. Just I felt that going through and I kept thinking, oh, I really want to try this on a splitting energy posture, but I really want to do it in the morning because I think I'm gonna be wired until late <laughs> late in the evening tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little juicy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Cool. Uh, Scott, you had some more? Yeah, uh, actually, uh, yeah, when we were doing the turning, I got some, I got some pot, you know, like when you crack your knuckles, but like in weird places deep in my body, mm. which was really, yeah, places that I don't think I've ever popped before. It was interesting. Yeah, I I got a lot of heat from the uh, from from the exercises like second time, and uh, uh, a lot of heat. I also kind of like um, <laughs> it was a little, a little hard to track the first time through. It was like I was like wait a minute, where where'd my brain go? Uh, so I, I had to kind of like okay, Rick, bear down here. Let's uh, <laughs> let's clean this up. <laughs> As the uh, first time through was. Uh, a little sketchy. It's like, oh yeah. Oh, I forgot that part. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, I was able to get together a little bit better. So yeah. So it's uh, it's it's a lot. It's a lot. And uh, I'm glad to to hear that you know people enjoyed the uh, the process there because it, uh, it 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 feeds us. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. I'm getting the signal that it's time. Uh, Thank you all so much. It's been great. And uh, Thank see you, you next Maria. week. Bye -bye. Love you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Love you, Maria. Thanks. I love you guys. Yay. Thank you. <laughs>